Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Logyard. Today, I want to discuss some troubles that we are going to be facing going into 2022. This is not to complain about our personal business issues that we are going through, but this is to better help you understand what the lumber and firewood industries are going through right now as a whole. As everyone very well knows, the last two years has affected small businesses the most. Closing small businesses is of course bad for the economy, but we have noticed something else is starting to happen in this new year that has made it hard to continue operations. But before I get into that, I first need to tell you what got us noticing these rising troubles. We are preparing right now. We're getting ready for when the season picks up again and we start getting in a lot of orders because what happens is we will just have nothing going on for, for two months, you know, January, February, and then March hits and we are just all of a sudden swamped with orders, can't keep up. We use this time to usually get ahead of the game to try to start stocking up getting stuff prepared and prepped. Unfortunately, the bulldozer is down and in the shop right now. And we are not able to get <laughs> any logs in right now. Uh, not good, not good at all. So uh, this time that we'd usually be preparing for the upcoming orders as spring starts, we're just left kind of uh, clicking our heels together because we don't really know what to do but but wait for the bulldozer to be repaired. Uh, with, with no logs in, we can't really do much. It's not just logs for milling that we don't have. We also don't have any firewood logs, uh, any logs, any wood in the log yard whatsoever that we can produce into anything. The studs. broke off the roller, which was here, and the studs are broken off up inside. So all the rollers have to be, this whole piece has to come off, this has to be turned upside down, and it has to be drilled. You can see where they, uh, they had to cut the bolts out. So we are down, not able to work. Not only, uh, this is a very long process to take apart and put back together. Here's the roller that came loose broke and we're going to replace the roller um, how did it break the studs broke out up up inside so there's nothing really wrong with the roller um, they're not terribly expensive but when you're when you have the machine apart it's um, better to put a new one in than to, to have it fail and there you can see there is a little bit of oil seeping around that outside bearing, so, you know, I, I would definitely replace that. The first shop that we brought the bulldozer to did not have the proper tools needed to repair it, so we ended up having to bring it to Five Star. Parts are becoming hard to come by. Not only that, they are faulty when they arrive. Any answers we come up with to why this might be can only be speculation. Or snapped off, so what he's having to do is go through with the mag drill 
drill out the old bolts and some are gonna have to be heel coiled, some can be saved so they can be tapped. That way everything can be put back together the way it's supposed to go. So. What about the bit? Were you able to get that bit that you needed? I thought there was some special. We got a spe yeah, the special get drill it. bit That's here. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we had to get a solid carbide drill in order to get through it, because when it when it got heated to try and get it off, it hardens the steel a little bit more. So Snap. now the steel's a lot harder, so a normal drill bit won't go through without snagging and snapping. Yeah. Yep, each of those bolts, all that fun stuff. Yeah, so we ended up getting those. So just a matter of having to get it apart and snap it over. But it'll be back on tomorrow. Okay. Why would brand new starters be faulty? Why would welds on implements be all of the sudden poor quality? Whatever the answer is, you can imagine that this is extremely troubling for people in our industry. Being on the front line of this issue, we see firsthand what this might look like down the road. That's it for this week's video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07.